Does how you spend your life matter? Without a doubt it does. We have 24 hours in a day to do everything from sleeping, eating, working, growing personally, playing. And if you're like most people, about 80 other things crammed in there. Recently, I was reading Psalm 90, which is a song or, or prayer of Moses. And listen to his perspective on God's immutability, that is, his unchanging nature throughout time as witnessed in Moses' life. Here's what it says. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, return to dust, you mortals. Now, think about this next verse as I read it. Verse 4 says, A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. I mean, obviously, God is amazingly different than any box or construct we can restrict him to. Well, then he continues in verse 5. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up new, but by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger. Your wrath is as great as the fear that is your due. Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wow. Teach us to number our days. Days that we cram full with anything and everything for our enjoyment. Not necessarily what may be for God's enjoyment. You know, this psalm talked about our iniquities and our secret sins being set before the Lord with all our days passing under his wrath. Everything we do is pleasing to God or not. How we spend our life does matter. We need to make the most of our days to point people to Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 through 17 says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. You know, these verses from Paul give us a warning that we should be wise and careful in all things, including how we spend our time. It matters what we do with all 86,400 seconds we are given every day. We can use them for pursuing the, the godly, moral, and spiritual way of living described by Paul in the beginning of that chapter, or we can spend them by pursuing evil, moral, and spiritual darkness. Our goal is to imitate God and His perfect love. If our imitation of something is to be good, we have to know what we are imitating. We have to get to know God and His desires. And that's nothing new. Even Moses, so long ago, knew that same thing. He asked to see God at work, to know what he should do in return. He closes out Psalm 90 in this way. In verse 16, it says, May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to your children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Spend time every day asking God to show you how he is at work in your life and the lives of those around you. It is then that we can see how he will establish the work of our hands to accomplish his will, drawing others to him through you and through me. What a great way to make sure that what you do in life matters and has eternal significance.